The small towns we've come to love to the cuisine we crave. It is the best of the South and the Southern living issue is out today. As for the South's best inn, well, you don't have to travel very far. CBS 46's Alicia Roberts visited Stonehurst. It's right here in Atlanta. I'm Alicia Roberts from CBS 46 Atlanta with a Southern living story about a 19th century art filled mansion that continues to gain national acclaim as one of the country's top bed and breakfast inns. And it's right here in Midtown Atlanta. Tucked under the treetops, framed with lush greens and fresh flowers and nestled next to today's bustling Atlanta skyline, Stonehurst Place, a luxury bed and breakfast on Piedmont Road in Midtown, offers a chance to experience Atlanta's past. The house has original 120 year old uh, pine floors. John Cardona spent 40 years in the hotel business and now co-manages Stonehurst. So the house is a stone mansion built, a, built in 1896 by George Hinman, who was a civil engineer and professor. George Hinman and his four children lived in the home until 1996. It is one of the few original houses from that era that remain and is on the National Register of Historic Places. This fan here, we, none of us know who the fan belongs to, but it obviously belonged to somebody, a member of the family, so we've taken it and we've uh, framed it. Touring the house takes you back in time to genteel Southern living around the turn of the century. Back in 1896 when they built the house, of course, there was no air conditioning. So back here is where the parents would sleep. Each room tells a story. Just imagine there were no homes in this area, so they had a beautiful view of Atlanta, of Piedmont Park. Every corner features influences of the past. This is called the eaves because it's in the eaves of the building. Original beams, custom marble, and ornate columns. Even an original contract from Mr. Hinman found in the wall of the sleeping porch. Yeah, they don't make built-ins like no, that. No, uh, these bureaus are all original. And it's wonderful too because they're very deep. So we can see where we keep all our crystal and our china. Today, Stonehurst includes a collection of old and new, including seven one-of-a-kind paintings by the famed artist Andy Warhol. And we call this the music room because this particular piece by Andy Warhol is referred to as the music room. There are very few mansions as they were, like Stonehurst left. They Barb Shadamy, the inn's owner and designer, who now lives in Germany, spent almost three years planning and restoring Stonehurst to its original glory. She was 100 years old then, so we last for at least another 100 more years. We've we did everything just right. Her goal, preserving the past while offering the luxuries of the present. So we're completely green. All of the water is filtered six different times. It's such an experience. Grace is John's wife and co-manager. The first course today was a creamy polenta. Who prepares an award-winning breakfast each morning, along with all of the fresh baked goods and beautiful flower arrangements that decorate every room. A lot of our flowers come from the garden. And it's the combination of the best comforts of home with the amenities of a five-star hotel that's earning Stonehurst national acclaim as Travago's best alternative accommodation. The house just looks very sophisticated, but there's a feeling of relax and contentment, and our guests, they don't like to leave. Guests today include business, international, and even wedding parties. This is the original doors for the dining room. We've had weddings here where we keep the door closed, and then all of a sudden the, the bride comes out looking beautiful and meeting her room. And for those who care for this home and its guests. Like if these walls could talk, what would they say, John? I think what they would say is welcome to the past. And I think what they would say is thank you for reviving us. A past that's not only revived, but more than ready for another 100 years. Such history, such.